On a grassy field nestled within the confines of NASA's Langley Research Center, a new building that will help take the human race to Mars is starting construction. This computational research facility that will allow the kind of advanced research and development that will put that first human on Mars, but also provide data to address our rising seas. Dignitaries from NASA, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and elected officials participated in a groundbreaking ceremony for the new computational data center. The computational research facility will allow us to do some of the modeling and simulation and computations for some of our advanced projects. A lot of the work we do, you need to do physical testing to anchor those, but to expand that and really cover the envelope, you need a lot of modeling and simulation. Turner says the new facility will also assist NASA in digesting and computing information constantly being beamed back to the center by multiple instruments. We have a lot of instruments and assets that are on orbit, uh, on airplanes or at other planets, and there's a lot of data coming back. So you want to get that data in a place where you can analyze it, understand it, and turn that into knowledge that can be used by decision makers, taxpayers, and all those folks. The new data center will consolidate computing power into one building, which is currently scattered in separate areas around the facility. They've been doing a lot of reduction and consolidation, and this will be a part of their ultimate consolidation. The building is split into two parts a climate-controlled area for the computers to be housed, and a space for the workers to sit and crunch the data. With 40,000 square feet and coming in at around $30 million, NASA officials say it was natural to bring in the expertise of the Corps of Engineers for such a large facility. What we pride ourselves on is putting the experts at a particular thing, bring them in and let them do that thing. So the Corps of Engineers brings an expertise that we don't have within the agency. The work is expected to start in June with a completion date of September 2016. From NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood.